Hello grade 5, welcome back to our online class, of course, with Mrs. Bell. Now, for today's video, I am going to teach you how to fill up the form just as the first page of your Get Smart English book, which is all about your personal details. Now, grade 5, if you if you happen to uh, fill up a form which has like this first name last name grade school oh, paste your latest photo here now how are you going to do this i will show you how okay for example norvell First name, Norbell. So I will write here, Norbell. Oi, do not write my name, ha? Huh? You write your name. This is only an example. Okay, do not write your, do not write my name. You write your name. Okay, last name. What is my last name? My last name is Quatres. So I'm going to write here, Quatres. How about you? What is your name? Mm. For, for example, Patawan. What's your last name, Patawan? So, Patawan. Right here, Patawan. And your last name here. Yeah. Because your first name is Patawan. So, you're right here. And here. Your last name. Ah! I remember, for example, Achira. Achira Puka. So, first name, Achira. Last name, Puka. Okay. Did you get it? Now, let's go to grade. Your grade is 5. Slant 6. Hmm. And here, school. You have to write Anuban Danchang School. Mm. Anuban Danchang. Oh, get it? Okay. Now, in the box, you're going to paste your latest photo. That is all about the first page of the worksheet. Now, let's proceed to the second page. Here, you need to look at the drawing. The instruction is read, circle the letter of the correct answer. Would you like to do it with me? For example, number seven. How many ducklings do the mother duck has? How many ducklings do the mother duck has? A. Mother duck has two ducklings. B. Mother duck has five ducklings. C. Mother duck has ten ducklings. What is the correct answer? Of course, there are two ducklings. One two so the correct answer is letter a so you need to circle the letter of the correct answer circle got it now let's go to number eight but i won't answer it anymore you will answer it grade five let's go okay how do you call the baby ducks a they are called infants B. They are called ducklings. C. They are called piglets. I will only read the questions in the selection twice. Listen carefully. How do you call the baby ducks? A. They are called infants. B. They are called ducklings. C. They are called piglets. Number nine. How do you call the mother of the ducklings? 
How do you call this one? A. She is called Mother Goose. B. She is called Mother Cow. C. She is called Duck. How do you call the mother of the ducklings? A. She is called Mother Goose. B. She is called Mother Cow. C. She is called Duck. Number 10. Do you like to grow the ducks in your backyard? A. Yes. I like to grow ducks. B. No, I don't like to grow ducks. C. Never mind. Number 10. Do you like to grow ducks in your backyard? A. Yes, I like to grow ducks. B. No, I don't like to grow ducks. C. Never mind. Now here, study the calendar for June 2018. Then answer the questions below. Look at the calendar. It is the month of June. This is the month, June. And this is the year, 2018. Now, how many days are there in the month of June? So, there are 30 days in the month of June. It starts with number 1 and it ends with number 30. Now, let's try the days of the week. Remember the video I sent you via Xiang channel, the days of the week? There are seven days in a week. Starts with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, let's try to answer number 11. What day is June 1? What day is June 1? So this is June 1. What day is June 1? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, it's time for you to select the correct answer. A. The first day of June is Saturday. B. The first day of June is Friday. C. The third day of June is Sunday. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Now, let's go to number 12. The last day of the month is Saturday. This is the first day and this is the last day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ooh, the last day of the month is Saturday. A. No, it isn't. B. Yes, it is. C. I'm not sure. The last day of the month is Saturday. A. No, it isn't. B. Yes, it is. C. I'm not sure. Okay, number 13. How many days are there in the month of June? A. There are 30 days in the month of June. B. There are 20 days in the month of June. C. There are 7 days in the month of June. I will repeat. How many days are there in the month of June? A. There are 30 days in the month of June. B. There are 20 days in the month of June. C. There are 7 days in the month of June. Number 14. June 13 is Wednesday. What day will be the 14th? So this is June 13. This is June 13. Mm, this is June 13. Now, what day will be the 14th? Let's see. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Now, choose the best answer. A. June 14 is Friday. B. June 14 is Monday. C. June 14 is Thursday. Let's proceed. This is Mark. This is Arthur. This is Felix. This is Diego. Mark is holding a paper form. Arthur has backpack. Backpack means your school bag. The pack bag. Okay, Felix is playing football. Diego is studying his lesson. Now, answer number 15. Who is playing football? Who is playing football? A. Mark plays football. B. Arthur plays football. C. 
si Felix plays football. Okay, number 16. Who has backpack? Who has backpack? A. Diego has backpack. B. Arthur has backpack. C. Mark has backpack. Number 17. Who is studying his lesson? Who is studying his lesson? A. Felix is studying his lesson. B. Diego is studying his lesson. C. Mark is studying his lesson. Who is studying his lesson? A. Felix is studying his lesson. B. Diego is studying his lesson. C. Mark is studying his lesson. Number 18. Who is holding a paper horn? Who is holding a paper horn? A. I think it's Mark. B. I think it's Arthur. C. No, it's Felix who is holding a paper horn. Which is the correct answer. Okay, that is the end of our English class for today. Now, before we will go to Simply Science, I will congratulate everyone for the amazing introduction that you had sent me via Miss Sirinan. Thank you so much, Miss Nan. You deserve a thumbs up for a job well done. And the only thing I could say is you did an amazing job by introducing yourself. However, I want you to improve your English by number one. Listen to Mrs. Bell. Number one, read more English books. Number two, you watch English movies from now on. You watch English movies. And number three, of course, attend classes of Mrs. Bell. So you will practice your English all the time. Okay. That's all about English. Now let's go to science. Can you see me? Yes or no? Can you hear me? Yes or no? Well, let's proceed to our lesson for today, which is simply science. Again, here you need to write your name. Write your grade. Of course, do not fill in the score because it will be Mrs. Bell who will write your score in here. And your teacher in science is Mrs. Bell Quatrez. Now, the instruction will be read and circle the letter of the correct answer. Now, look at the box. There are three animals in the box. Number one, fish. Number two, cow. Number four, bird. Among the three animals, number one, who can fly? Who can fly? A, the bird can fly. B, the cow can fly. C, the fish can fly. Okay, now this time, circle the letter of the correct answer, just like what we did in our English worksheet, still you need to circle the correct, the letter of the correct answer. Who can fly? A. The bird can fly. B. The cow can fly. C. The fish can fly. Number two, who gives us milk? Who gives us milk? A. The fish gives us milk. B. The cow gives us milk. C. The bird gives us milk. Which is the correct answer. Number three, look at the food chain. Look at the food chain. This is the plant, the grasshopper, the bluebird, the snake, the owl, mushrooms, and go back to the plants. This is the plant which is the producer of the food chain. Okay, number three. Who is the producer of the food chain? A. It's the grass. B. It's the grasshopper. C. 
it's the owl. Number four, who had eaten the grasshopper? Who had eaten the grasshopper? A, it's the bluebird. B, it's the mushrooms. C, it's the owl. Number five, who killed the snake? Who killed the snake? This is the snake. Now, who killed the snake? Who killed the snake? Ah. A. I think it's the owl. B. I think it's the grasshopper. C. Neither. Neither means none of the above. Okay. Number six. Who ate the blue bird? So, this is the blue bird. Who ate the blue bird? A. It's the snake. B. It's the grass. C. It's the mushrooms. Number seven. What will happen to the dead body of the owl? A. It will be eaten by the grasshopper. B. It will be consumed by the mushrooms. C. It will be eaten by the butterfly. Choose best answer. Okay, here we have the picture of Monday. It's a sunny day. Tuesday, it's a rainy day. Wednesday, it's a cloudy day. Now, number eight. How was the weather last Monday? A. Monday was a sunny day. B. It rained last Monday. C. It was cloudy day. Number nine. Tell me, what kind of day is Tuesday? What kind of day is Tuesday? A. Tuesday is a lovely day. B. Tuesday is a rainy day. C. Tuesday is a sunny day. Number 10. Describe the weather on Wednesday. A. It's a cloudy day. B. It's a rainy day. C. It's a sunny day. Very well done, grade 5 students, and I really appreciate your efforts in answering your worksheets. Keep on uh, doing such positive attitude. Very good. And thank you so much for attending this class today, and I hope to see you all soon in school, of course. I miss you all. Mm. Time to say bye-bye!